Sonic X Shadow Generations is right around the corner, dropping in October. And right now it is currently September, the recording of this video. The game looks pretty exciting. It looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it's gonna be as crazy as Unleashed or Generations in terms of gameplay, even level design. But a fellow content creator and friend Premier Remy, I think kind of put it in a good way that this game is kind of the middle ground of boost. I think it'll be better than pretty much almost every boost game in this last generation of Sonic, but probably not as good as Generations and Unleashed, but I'm obviously always going to leave that door open to be true. I take games in for what they are. If it actually was better than those games, then hey, I'm all down for it. I'm actually quite looking forward to that game because uh, honestly, October is looking kind of crazy. And I think that game is part of the reason why it's looking kind of crazy for me. I'm going to be enjoying me some Sonic as well as some Black Ops 6. But yeah, this game looks fun and good and all. But what about after this game? To me right now, it feels like Sega's back catalog for Sonic games has all come out. We had Sonic Colors Ultimate. We had Sonic Frontiers release. We had Sonic Origins. We had Sonic Superstar, Sonic Dream Team. Now we're getting Shadow Generations. All of this within a span of like what, four years or less? That's kind of crazy and a lot of these games were definitely planned a while ago, more than likely during the drought that we had after Sonic Forces. And I truly do believe that Sega's back catalog of their ideas is actually all depleted. Now obviously Sega probably knew that they were going to be using Shadow for Movie 3 for probably the last two years now, and that's probably how long this game has been worked on, Sonic X Shadow Generations, probably two years. So this might not even factor into their back catalog as much because it's probably on a whim because of the movie. A lot of the Sonic games going forward are going to be determined by the universe in the cinematic world. I said that backwards. But it is also a mystery that after Sonic 3, who knows if we're going to get any more Sonic movies. This could be the last one and they just move on the shows or something. Or they just keep making Sonic movies like Sonic 4, 5, 6, but that sounds kind of crazy. But when it comes to the games, let's address the elephant in the room which is Sonic Frontiers 2. There's been lots of leaks and rumors going on right now, and honestly, I won't even talk about them like that because they're really, really fake, if I'm honest. Some of them just exude extremely fake. And if you know anything about this channel, I only really like to cover leaks if I think it's believable. If it's not believable, I don't usually like to cover the leaks. Like, if it's so obviously fake, I just can't even bring myself to talk about it. And honestly, I think these Frontiers 2 leaks are just not believable. I don't like to try to spread false information on purpose or information that I I believe can be heavily false but if i think there's some truth to it then i'll probably talk about it that aside that has people thinking about frontiers 2 in general and yeah frontiers 2 is totally being worked on i think that's a no-brainer and we will get that obviously after sonic x shadow generations obviously but it's probably going to be some time I wouldn't expect that game till about 2027, which is about three years from now or less because we're heading into 2025 at the time of this video. When I say what's next, I don't really mean Frontiers 2, that's a given or whatever that game's going to be. I mean the other stuff. The open zone stuff is still, I guess, mainline Sonic, but they're honestly treating Sonic X Shadow Generations just as mainline because one, it's half remaster, half new game. But this new game, they're still treating it as a mainline game. They're not acting like this isn't some little side project. This has gotten a considerable amount of marketing. The thing is now, what's next after this? That isn't open zone Sonic. We had our classic Sonic game through Sonic Superstars and it wasn't well reviewed and also didn't sell well apparently. So that's probably not going to happen again for a while. We already have the Origins collection. Now what should be next that isn't a classic Sonic game that isn't Sonic Frontiers 2? Well, I'm going to be honest, I think Sonic Unleashed Remastered is the next thing that needs to happen, or a port of Sonic Unleashed. That is the next major thing that needs to happen. I know it's a pipe dream, it sounds crazy, people have been clamoring for it for years, but when Takashi Izuka did an interview for IGN in front of a huge crowd, the interviewer pushed the idea of Sonic Unleashed ported or remastered forward, and then he asked the crowd, and the crowd is screaming and cheering, and then Izuka basically says they'll listen to the fans for what games to remaster next, and it's very clear that Sonic Unleashed is the most requested Sonic game of all time to be remastered. I feel like not even Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 were asked for remakes as much as Sonic Unleashed is asked to be remastered or just ported right now. Sega will be out of their minds. They will be tripping if they don't remaster this game or port this game. 
people will be fine with a straight pc port or straight console port people don't care they just want sonic unleashed modern day console 60 fps which by the way the xbox series x can do in the xbox series s but nobody's buying those systems but people want that on playstation people want that on pc people want that on switch too it's time to just make that happen I didn't mean for this video to become a port Sonic Unleashed video, but low key, that's all I can think of that they can do next. Yeah, we can get some Sonic Advance remasters and all that kind of stuff. But for real though, Sonic Unleashed and then on the original side of things, give us a 2D modern Sonic game or something like that. I think that's all I can see next or give me Sonic Riders, give me something. This is what I want right now. <laughs> I don't have any strong message in this video. I'm just speaking my mind. This is what I want. I want Sonic Unleashed ported. I want some advanced remasters. I want Sonic Riders to come back. I just want the cool stuff back and I want new cool stuff while we wait for Frontiers 2. That's all I can really ask for. And honestly, that's all I got to say. Just do that and I'm good. Well, whatever happens, happens.